All right, good day, good afternoon. This is Alex Haig with EXP and the Haig Group of the Treasure Coast. We are bringing you Market Update, Tri-County, September 2018, September 2019. Got some really amazing numbers. Stay tuned. All right, good day, good evening, good afternoon. We have Market Update, Tri-County. Of course, we always start off with our beloved St. Lucie County. And again, this is September 2018, September 2019, St. Lucie County starting off 404 units in 2018, 501 2019, 24% appreciation, 24% more units closed St. Lucie County moving down to Martin County 197 units closed in 2018 September we had 197 closed September 2019 for a zero so it's exactly the same in 197 units year to date we have closed units Palm Beach County 1212 uh, 1227 in Palm Beach County September 2018 1356 1356 units that is up 10.5% in closed units, Palm Beach County. Okay, now paid in cash, laundered money, mattress money, as we like to call it. We have St. Lucie County was 102 units in uh, September 2018, 113 units September 2019. That's up 10.8%. Okay, down to Martin County. Martin County, September 2018, 65 units closed. We had 72 units closed in 2019. That's up 10.8. Okay, down to Palm Beach County. We had 386 units closed, and we had 401 in 2019, September. So that's up 3.9%. Okay, we're down to our average sale price. A lot of people like to look at this as kind of a barometer for how much my property is potentially appreciated. Again, this is single family homes. 239,432, we had 251, 550, so we're up 5.1%, an average sale price close. St. Lucie County, down to Martin County, we had 392,218, uh, and we had 489,965 for 24.9%. Now, please, people, don't go out there and try to refi your house saying it appreciated by 24%. Numbers can be a little inaccurate, but they are great numbers for you sellers out there. Average sale price, Palm Beach County, we had 480,937 in 2018. We had 570 in uh, 2018, so you're up 18.6%. This is pretty amazing numbers. All right, so dollar volume. Remember, we measure money in volume based on pallets, not on liter, if you guys catch that one. So dollar volume in St. Lucie County was 96.7 million, and we had 126 million for a 30.3% increase in dollar volume. Martin, uh, St. Lucie County, Martin County. 77.3 in 2018 September we had 96.5 million in September 2019 so we're up 24.9 pretty big numbers there uh, so now we're doing dollar volume in Palm Beach County we were 590 million point one we're uh, 773.7 million in 2019 so we were up 24.9 percent really big numbers Okay, moving down now, pending sales. Pending sales are past their contingencies, so they're past appraisal, they're past financing. All right, so just moving on to close. So September 2018, we had 418 in St. Lucie County. We had 492 pending sales, so we're up 17.7%. Uh, pending sales in St. Lucie County. Moving down to Martin County, we had 179 units in 2018. We had 195 units in uh, 2019, so that's up 8.9%. Moving down to Palm Beach County, pending sales, 1,388 pending sales, single family homes, September 2018, September 2019, 1,379. So we were down actually 0.6. Isn't it funny kind of how these numbers uh, tend to work out? So now these are new listings on the market. So this likes to tell us, uh, you know, how many new listings are on that month. So in September 2018, we had 595 new units on the market. 
uh, in St. Lucie County single family homes, we were 556, so we're actually down 6.6 .6 in new inventory coming on the market, which actually makes less inventory, so there's less for those buyers to go after. Martin County had a similar down number, new listings, 203 in 2018. We had 183 in 2019, so we're down 9.9%. Pretty, uh, pretty interesting numbers. Now, new uh, listings in uh, Palm Beach County was 1,824 in 2018, September. We had, uh, 1622 so we're actually down 11.1 .1. so across the board new listings down on all three counties last number that we use here which remember tells us whether we're kind of trending towards a buyer's market or a seller's market remember the buyer's market is above six point uh six months of inventory uh, a seller's market is below three months of inventory and then in the middle of those is neutral St. Lucie County, we had 3.7 months of inventory, and then we had 3.6 months of inventory in 2019. So we're actually down, which means we're trending back towards a seller's market. A year or so ago, we were trending towards a buyer's market. It's funny how these things cycle if you've been watching this. Uh, so month supply of inventory in Martin County was 4.3 in 2018. We have 4.5. So that's actually moving up. So now we're moving closer towards a buyer's market in Martin County based on these numbers. Uh, Palm Beach County, we had uh, 4.6 in 2018. We had 4.3 in 2019. So we're 6.5% down. So we're moving closer to a, a seller's market there just with uh, those little numbers. So these numbers, you know, as you've seen, if you've been watching my market update for years here, you see that we have these kind of cycles and it's hard to tell, you know, if we're ultimately going up, it certainly trends that way sometimes. And then for a couple, you know, a couple of quarters, it'll trend down. So if you're interested in selling, it definitely looks like a great time to sell. I still think it's a good time to buy. I don't mean to talk out of both sides of my mouth here because we have super low interest rates. So if you're looking for a primary residence or you're looking for a second home and you're gonna sell up north or whatever, or even if you're buying something as an investment property and you're gonna get a good interest rate on it, uh, you know, it's still a good time to buy. So it's very situational. That's why it's so important to find a good realtor to work with. We'd love to help you. Uh, so thank you so much for stopping by. Any way we can help, we're here to help. Alex Hay with EXP and the Hay Group of Treasure Coast. Stop by uh, next time for our next market report and wait for our next one, Arc of the Martin County, for our clothing drive. Thanks so much. Have a great day.